Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I have a really fun tutorial. I'm going to show you how to collapse and expand text so that you can show more or you know just show a little bit and then click expand and it shows the rest. You can collapse it. It's a really fun one. Let's get started. I'll show you how to do this. As always, if you're watching this on YouTube, click the link in the description. You'll go over to this blog post. That's where I have the code snippets and all the instructions. So yeah, you have too much text. I, I've seen people ask all the time, you know, how do I collapse it? And, and then people will say, well, you could use a toggle. Well, no, not, not, in this, not in this case. We're talking about like a text module or a blurb module. Somewhere where there's text like that, that you just want to show a couple lines and then if someone really wants to read the rest, you can expand it, right? So it's really cool. It's, it's fairly simple to do. Uh, with our code. There's going to be some jQuery and some CSS. It, it, it's going to be pretty easy, I think. So which modules does this work on? Well, I was thinking about it and I was like, well, obviously the text module, but it would also work in the blurb module or a separate snippet will work in the blurb module. It, it's going to have to be specific code or actually the CSS classes will need to change for different modules, but it can it can be done. Use a few modifications. All right. So obviously the text module is is going to be our first one. In fact, we're going to show you the whole tutorial with the text module and then kind of let you figure out the blurb on your own. It's the exact same steps. All right, so first thing, add a text module. And I, I, guess, I guess I missed that step, didn't I? But anyway, we're going to put a CSS class in it because you certainly don't want this to affect all of your text on your site. <laughs> be a little crazy. So we're calling it PA toggle text, our custom class. All right, so here I am on a demo site. We're gonna show you this live, I have a couple text modules and a blurb module. So I'll go in here and add that CSS class to the text modules. All right, I have, and I already have some, you know, filler text there. So open up the module, advanced tab, CSS ID and classes toggle, and then put it right here, CSS class. All right, I'll do the other one while I'm here, just, just to show you here, okay? So we're gonna add the jQuery first here before the CSS. Now, the jQuery is, is actually doing the, I guess you could say the bulk of the work here. It's actually making the whole, you know, jQuery, JavaScript, it, it does things on the front end of your website CSS is styling where you think of like jQuery as like, you know, clicking and moving and doing things like that. So that's what we're using. You know, we have to use this. So anyway, here's the snippet. It's, it's a little big, but it's because it's a little, it's a little complicated what we're doing, but I'll show you this area right here. Notice it says VAR, VAR means variable. So that area is where you're going to make a few edits if you want to. You won't be touching the rest of this, okay? So we're gonna take this code, click this copy button here, and then go to your dashboard, go to Divi theme options, and then in this integration tab here, that's this is where we put things like this, jQuery. So paste that in there. Now save the changes. And while we're at it, let's, let's do the next step. So we're going to talk a little bit about this, but I'm going to skip ahead to this. For CSS, you know, you could, you could put it like in the general tab here, here at the bottom. I'm just going to get stuff out of the way for this. I have a lot of code from other tutorials. So we're just going to paste it for now. And then I want to show the functionality and then we'll explain it more. Okay, so I just refreshed the page and check this out. You can see that I have about three and a half or so lines of text. So I can click there, see that? Same thing here. Works great. You know, that little icon there again is, well, I'll show you that too. So this text and the icon can be customized. The distance can be customized. Let's go do a couple changes. Now, if you wanted, if you were happy, you could just be like, we're done with the tutorial, right? But you gotta learn. <laughs> so what I was saying here, the variables, those can be changed because 
you might want to say something like, you might want to just say expand. You might want to say just read more or show more. You could change that. Whatever you want to say there, that's fine. You know, go to the, go to your code. Look here where it says text, expand text. And you, it's, it's pretty clear to see that there. Expand to read more. You could change that to whatever you want. And the same thing for the collapse to read less. I just wrote the longer phrase just to just because of the show the options but you see that you could change that if you want and then the next two things are the icons so you're going to if, if you don't want those icons uh, let's see do I have a link yeah so like this here the ET modules font that's built into Divi right here okay so you could change the icon you could change it to one of these these other ones okay so I'm just saying that the things in in those first four are their variables and then they get applied into the into the code all right and then the CSS maybe something that you would want to change there would be the height so right here we have and I have everything labeled with comments so let's say let's just change this to 100 instead of 200 you just see that little difference okay now let's refresh here Look how much, you know, smaller, guys. It's almost, it's too small. It really is. Uh, let's change it to 150. Okay, that's looking a little better, right? Okay, and let's go to the next thing. This after, the pseudo class after, is actually adding that little gradient. See how it's like a gradient? It looks great. I think it looks great. Uh, let's see. I guess you could remove that. You, you could. Oh, here's the, the, the button itself, like text align center, the color of the button. When I say button, I'm referring to this green expand link text, right? And then changing the cursor. When you hover over, it changes it to that little hand symbol. Uh, what else? Oh, we're saying the font family. We're making sure that the icon is using the ET modules font family. And then this max height, you just want that number to be high, higher than the height of your actual text, right? And then we have the transition speed. And then here we're saying that when it's open, that, that gradient is none. The background is none, right? Watch this. When I open it, you don't see that gradient anymore, okay? That is a quick rundown of the code. That's it. Um, yeah, do I have anything else here? Yeah, changing the text and the icons and yeah. Oh, okay. So then if you want to do this to the blurb, it is the exact same process. You would put a PA toggle blurb in there. You can see it's open already. But once we put this code in, okay. All right, so here's the jQuery for the blurb. You can just put that below what we had and then I'm gonna just go right down here and add the the CSS is also different because you know it's it's targeting it's targeting the blurb instead of the text but otherwise it's basic it's the same thing in fact I could show you what's different the difference in like this code maybe it's easier to see here the difference in this code is like we have to target the blurb content and the blurb description right that's pretty much the only thing that's that's different up here in the text module we're just targeting the, the text inner it's called so it's that's the difference now watch this there you go you can do the exact same thing with the blurb and you could like i said you could change this to work with other modules which i don't even know which other modules you would use i guess let me know if i'm missing one but anyway that's it that really is it, um, the blurb and the text module. And I, I think this one was fun. If you thought this was fun, give me a thumbs up. That would be awesome. And if you're enjoying this kind of tutorial, then be subscribed. I'm surprised how many people are not subscribed that watch my videos every week. You know, just just subscribe. That way you're, you're sure that you'll get them. And like I said, I do this every week. 
uh, tutorial video comes out on YouTube at the same time I, I always schedule them ahead uh, same time as the blog post over on our blog so if you're interested you know that's what you'll get you know Divi related content here on this channel all right that's all for today and we'll see you all in the next video